me is Afsane Cooper. Um, I live in Perth um, and at the moment I am a property manager um, and owner of the City Train Home boarding house. In this uh, boarding house, uh, I make the tenants to do work swap for rent uh, and most of our work in work swap for rent relates to mechanical engineering services such as um, drilling, um, sewing using mitre saw and table saw, uh, using angle grinder uh, to remove paint or cut the metals, um, and um, using spray painting, uh, using a lot of um, other tools um, um, such as spanners and um, um, different uh, machineries um, and simple tools um, to do carpentry, to do uh, painting, spray painting, uh, drilling into metals, uh, building carports, building pergolas, uh, renovating um, trailer and building garages, um, renovating garages and changing the carports to the enclosed uh, workshop and garage, building retaining walls and um, doing a lot of uh, shelving, uh, changing doors, changing kitchen bench tops um, to laminating them and making cabinets, cabinet doors, uh, changing the doors and many of the renovation tasks that is mainly a mixture of mechanical engineering, uh, construction, in um, interior design, uh, architecture, and um, research into new methods of uh, multidiscipline engineering. Um, I studied mechanical engineering solid design at Sharif University of Technology in Tehran, Iran in a bachelor degree course for five and a half years full time. Uh, this university achieved the world rank of 101 in 2012 and Kirtan University in Perth achieved the rank of 150 in the same world ranking system of top 200 world universities, which was ranked by Chinese. I studied the following 12 subjects in engineering drafting as part of my bachelor course at Sharif University of Technology. 1. Engineering Graphics 1. 2. Engineering Graphics 2, 3. Fundamentals of Machine Design 1, 4. Fundamentals of Machine Design 2, 5. Machine Design 1, 6. Machine Elements Design 2, 7. Engineering Design Methods, 8. Introduction to Combustion Engine Design, 9. Gearbox Design by Computer, a project in CAD, 10. Mechanisms Design, 11. Machine Tool Design, 12. Chassis Design. Um, as a result of my, the work in my bachelor degree, the fruit of this uh, study of bachelor degree was um, effective in 1979 when uh, I returned from USA uh, studying uh, year three of my engineering course in San Diego State University and doing a lot of work because university in, in Iran were closed and I was the last semester student of bachelor to graduate. So in the two and a half years university's closure, I uh, worked in uh, several projects in Iran that the best one of them was uh, starting a group in um, uh, designing water turbines and uh, by uh, my job in that uh, project was translating a book um, from English to Persian uh, by Dixon and the book uh, textbook uh, was um, turbo machinery that we just studied at Sharif University of Technology in that semester and the other project I did with the present um, uh, f uh, minister of foreign affairs in Iran called Dr. Salehi. He was a professor of um, uh, engineering in Iran those days and he was our vice chancellor. At that time was assistant to the minister of power, uh, power ministry. And 
we I worked under his supervision, uh, calculating, uh, doing a survey on the way we could uh, apply the power of water uh, using the Iranian potential water, Iranian uh, water potential uh, for um, um, designing and uh, building uh, water turbines. This was one project in water turbine. The second project um, I worked with Dr. Azad was a graduate of um, PhD in Colorado University in the USA. This project was under his supervision, uh, solar, um, solar heating uh, conductors, and they were for like, working as air conditioner. So three uh, solar collectors um, were uh, tested. I designed and built and construct them and tested them. And um, this is the, the result is uh, written in this book about the uh, the, um, all the graphs and everything, all the results. And the third project I did with uh, under the supervision of Professor um, um, uh, Dr. Rahim Purabdur Rahim. He was a um, professor of um, associate professor in Tehran University at that time. And we uh, were a team working in Iranian research organization for science and technology in Tehran and um, designing uh, gearboxes for a bankrupt um, a factory that 650 gearboxes were broken and could not go further and be productive because there was no parts for it. So I um, and Dr. Purabdrahim started uh, working uh, on the first Iranian CAD um, uh, package for uh, designing our own gearboxes in Tehran while we could not get parts for those um, uh, German-made um, um, gearboxes. So that was a very good uh, experience in how to turn the book of Neiman uh, written in Germany uh, for uh, designing gearboxes, uh, turn it to a computer program by Fortran language that was 1500 line language that I wrote and I was uh, the own the first um, writer, uh, the first package for CAD for Gearbox in the world, I worked on that project for one and a half year full time. And that was accepted as part of my uh, training for the graduation of the bachelor degree in mechanical engineering. So this was a fruit of my bachelor degree that I did um, in two and a half years work for the uh, Iranian power ministry uh, and uh, worked for Iranian research organization of science and technology in Tehran, working with um, three professors, um, Professor um, um, Sarmas, um, Professor um, Salehi, uh, Professor um, Purabdur Rahim, and Professor Piruze Dravi. Uh, four professors, um, uh, four or five professors I worked with uh, and um, to do these projects. Then I went and did my master's degree in Shiraz University. Uh, one of the best subjects I studied in subjects in uh, uh, Shiraz University when I was doing my master's degree was called Optimal Design of Mechanical Elements. That I applied this optimal design of mechanical elements uh, knowledge into my PhD later on, designing turbines and flywheel energy storage system. In Shiraz University, uh, the fruit of my three and a half years full time study of um, a master degree in Shiraz University, uh, that fruit was very fruitful uh, study because um, I was able to calculate the computation of aerodynamic coefficients of flight vehicles using semi-empirical rapid methods. This is a 2,800-line computer program in Fortran language. The course was two subject to uh, two parts. One was a course, and one part was research. The part that was research was one and a half year full time, and the part that was course was two years full time. So 
My master's degree was a very long full-time study of three and a half years and uh, people could get PhD and that one Professor Jennings told me when I saw him for PhD. This research was done in finished in 1988 and I got achieved a master's degree from um, um, Shiraz University and uh, when I came to Australia in 1988 the um, Nusr that was the um, the place where they assess engineers um, and overseas migrants uh, for their degrees and uh, education they assessed my um, all of my education equivalent to the postgraduate um, degree in Australia in engineering then um, what I did after that, that was the study of master degree. Um, then I studied, um, I studied the following uh, CAT subjects in two TAFE colleges, Thornley TAFE and Central Institute of Technology in Perth, Australia as part of Diploma of Engineering, Technical Mechanical CAT courses. That was CAT B, CAT A, use computer aided drafting systems to produce basic engineering drawings, AutoCAD 2010, and use CAD to create and display 3D models, SOLIDWORKS 2010. Um, in um, a study in uh, Central Institute of Technology, the study that I did it in 2010 was very fruitful for me because I could apply my learning in teaching private students um, I taught private students um, about SOLIDWORKS and um, um, AutoCAD 2010 um, for example one of my students was an engineer, mechanical engineer Mr. Fong and um, he needed to upgrade his uh, get promoted in his job as a project manager and for this promotion he needed to learn uh, AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS so I had some lessons for him another students were Mr. Tyson and um, Tyson needed um, to um, was a maintenance engineer maintenance engineer technician in technician in um, for Qantas and um, for uh, for aircrafts and uh, airplanes and uh, he was um, um, going to design a platform for um, airplane and he was asked to design a platform for airplane and in that he needed use of AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS that he had some lessons with me and um, there were uh, others who came and started learning in applying it in building industry and other things AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS so I help them also to learn doing private tutoring through tutorfinder.com.au that study was useful in that section also I used the knowledge in um, uh, that I learned in AutoCAD both from Torley TAFE and um, from Central Institute of Technology to design several uh, carports, um, several garages and workshops while we had two houses uh, during this time and the first house had a big uh, carport which was not enclosed and we needed that to be enclosed and turning it to a workshop with lots of windows, uh, too many doors and two doors and light and everything. To change that and do that renovation, I used my AutoCAD knowledge and uh, draw the drawing, uh, submitted to the city of Gosn Gosnell and got the license, building license and did this renovation for and applied that knowledge. Uh, uh, in the knowledge uh, also I was applied when I was trying to um, design um, retaining walls in my backyard uh, excavating all the landscaping needing a lot of um, many many retaining walls in limestone and uh, uh, concrete post and panel retaining walls so I had to do lots of uh, several building license I needed in 2005 to 2008 to do these many retaining walls that was required for such a steepy land that the backyard was 
four meter high from the street and the floor near the street was zero. So that was a very steep long land uh, um, of 30, 40, 40 meter long and I had to um, flatten this land making it terrace and, and so I needed um, to build retaining wall to retain the excavated um, boundaries uh, that was on the fences and in the front uh, as well making a terrace next to the street so um, this was required a, a multi-task engineering multi-discipline engineering knowledge and application that I mixed engineering mechanical engineering design um, application I applied it to the building industry and started uh, applying my knowledge to construction and uh, in a different field that I never tried and that was a very very interesting um, experience that uh, I had uh, using uh, these uh, packages of uh, AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS applying it to building design and uh, later on I had to in 2013 build uh, the um, gable carport uh, um, made uh, manufactured by Stratco and uh, got a license from city of Melville to um, build a carport, a huge carport with metal high, four meter high and it was very good experience that we did a trim of tree doing this job in uh, especially when it was uh, raining and we were doing some work at night and it was an extremely good experience and very adventurous work because we had to work on a four meter high uh, height and it was um, we had to use uh, scaffolds and uh, using um, uh, platform ladders and get using trailer going out bringing everything <laughs> and I was very 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 um, motivated to do this job and I really enjoyed doing, doing applying uh, my mechanical design engineering and it was a very, very good um, experience for management, application of the management in um, home renovation. And uh, that was uh, the way that I applied my uh, knowledge in CAD into home renovation and teaching students. I studied the uh, following subjects in communication skills by images, sounds, words, charts, PowerPoint tables and reports at two colleges in Perth, Canning College and Central Institute of Technology. 18, Corel, Photo, Paint, V10, Image Manipulation, Fundamentals. 19, Adobe Premiere 6, uh, Video Editing Fundamentals. Uh, 20, Interact with Computing Technology, Office 2007, Word, Excel, Access, Database, PowerPoint. Um, these, um, the application of the what I studied um, in Central Institute of Technology in 2010 uh, to learn uh, Microsoft Office 2007 to the advanced level. I went very deeply, did all the assignments, all the tasks and learned how to be very good in using Word, using Excel and uh, using um, Access Database and PowerPoint. But uh, was the result and fruit of this study in Central Institute of Technology in Microsoft Office was that I used Excel in a new business. I opened right after that study, I opened a new business in renting and turned my house that was renovated and needed more renovation into a, a house of tourists and young people who are homeless. Um, my business started in April 2010 and that is the most, uh, one of the most exciting uh, businesses that I have had so far in my life and it's very interesting we have had so far our house has been the house for 170 young people or coming from France, coming from Germany, coming from Iran, coming from Arabia, coming from India and uh, Norway and uh, coming from Estonia and uh, all over the world uh, people coming here, young people under uh, 40 years old uh, coming and we give them projects when they need money to do and pay off some of their rent, folks up for rent, 
most of these projects, because I am a mechanical engineer, is in mechanical services. And, um, and there still, these uh, young boys and came and lived with us and changed my life. And now I feel very young like that <laughs> and always being busy teaching them how to do it. And uh, one of the good things that I will really do in this business is uh, and preparing rental plans using Excel. For example, one of my tenants that has been here is Mengo Catalan. That look at this one is uh, the rental plan I use. I have prepared for him in Excel, and this was done for 170 tenants. This is my own. Um, Excel program, several pages I prepared, uh, trying to give him some local experience because he needed some local experience for getting a job. So I um, had to uh, use him 346 hours uh, in five months in my home, and he uh, helped me to crest fit the carport uh, with. Um, uh, drilling and uh, using his metal skills in Iran as a manufacturing mechanical engineer. And he is now uh, was very successful finding a good job nearby in a local area as a production engineer. And that gave me a lot of uh, satisfaction because I was able to pass my knowledge uh, like a supervisor to him, uh, managing um, his local experience in my boarding house. And um, so therefore, uh, Excel in uh, 2007, now I'm using it uh, with the version of 2013, mastering in Excel, how to use the uh, program to Excel to manage the life of all these young boys who are living with us as a tenant and works up for rent workers. Um, so basically that was one of the things that I found it very useful Excel in rental business. Uh, I studied English as a second language in the following institutions. Um, Iran America Society in Tehran, Iran, lower high school level, British Council in Tehran, Iran middle school level, Marjan Private High School, Tehran, Iran upper school level, ES, ELS language center six months full-time intensive language course in san diego california usa achievement of toefl score of 517 and admission to san diego state university california usa to study mechanical engineering year three of my bachelor degree course a study equivalent studying equivalent of two and a half years full-time PhD study in wind turbine and flywheel energy storage system at Murdoch University in Perth, Australia. A studying one and a half year part-time, 65% of the course was completed. A study of graduate diploma in education, secondary maths, computing, and science. A studying one year part-time at Central Institute of Technology in Perth to do part of Diploma of Engineering Technical Mechanical CAT. Um, the fruit about uh, knowledge in English is um, my um, knowledge in English was that I was able to go and study in several um, schools and colleges in the world. Uh, one is San Diego State University in the United States. The second one was um, studying at Merdock University for uh, two and a half years equivalent full time. One was studying in the Merdock University in graduate diploma in education. I learned how to study in English and also in Canning College I studied these books in Adobe Premiere and then um, photo, Photoshop, Corel Photoshop and uh, manipulation and uh, then uh, as a result of those English study um, knowledge, I taught um, two books uh, in engineering detail design and graph engineering graphics to totally tape students. And um, I taught English engineering drawing uh, handbooks to the tape students. Um, 
Also, I went uh, to Merdok University, studied um, introduction to teaching and educational psychology. I studied at graduate diploma in education, and the best book was learning and assessment: how the students learn and how the students can can be assessed. And in this educational psychology book, we learned different type of students uh, and categorizing them by intelligence how students are motivated, how you can punish them, how you can uh, motivate them, um, uh, how the depressed student you have to teach them, how different type of uh, autism and all these sorts of things is in educational psychology. We learned it um, how to manage the education of young people and especially this journal I prepared, how to write journals in education. Learning journals in education helped me in 2002 to write a, a paper for do some uh, nine months research with Professor Trevelyan in UWA in Fatigues in Composites. So when I did my uh, research in PhD in Merdok University, I did my research in PhD in Merdok University, um, two and a half years uh, study of PhD in Merdok University. So I have lived in Australia 25 years and arrived here in 1988 and married to an Australian engineer and have three children, 18 to 24, at universities here. My children only speak English with me, so my first language since 1988 has been English. Um, I have written a 400 pages book in English, A Path to Our Union in Spirituality. I read, write and develop website as my best hobbies. I have a website called evenfry.com.au. It spells E for egg, W for window, I for India, N for Nancy, D for dog, F for Fred, L for London, Y for yellow, dot com dot au. So www.evenfly.com.au. In this website, I have tried to use my knowledge in Canon College that how to do video editing, how to do um, photo manipulation, uh, applying all these knowledges to produce a website to demonstrate uh, my ability as an engineer, as a researcher, and as a, as a project manager. Uh, of this uh, um, um, city train home boarding house um, to the people and people can come and rent rooms here, work swap for rent and also in future I'm planning to get into uh, design and drafting and work for companies uh, to do some work, more work on AutoCAD and uh, SolidWorks for them, perhaps uh, doing more research for Merlock University in um, hybrid train, charging a station using my cardboard, designing a, a wooden turbine to put it on top of this cardboard and uh, connecting the turbine into some generators uh, and some um, flywheel energy storage systems and just do my PhD and uh, going further. In uh, When I was doing my, mass, uh, my bachelor degree, my uh, PhD degree, um, when I was studying my PhD, uh, WD New Company promised that when I finish my my uh, um, PhD, uh, they are going to build um, my flywheel themselves or a wind turbine. They are going to help. Me. But this company now has become bankrupt, and recently they have closed down. Uh, this is the result of my work with Professor Trevelyan in UW that is called References in Fatigue in Composite Materials by Afsane Cooper, date June 17, 2012, from UWA, Kerten, Merdok, ECU, Lisboa Library Catalog. It is a reference, it's a paper that I prepared, 16 pages, um, and also uh, I did some research for Professor Trevelyan in um, um, remote controlled um, um, library, remote com control laboratories and MATLAB and 
did later on further study on pedagogical renewable energy, working on gifted students, um, but there was no one to supervise me in that work. Some works that is left over uh, from my research in thriving energy storage system is a progress report called Energy Storage Rotor for the Wind Turbine, and this is um, ready to be published, but I will publish it after the um, um, hybrid train um, charging station was completed. And um, I think that I have, uh, and these are the works that I did in PhD. These are the works that I did in PhD, accumulation of six books that I prepared in research in uh, doing literature survey in um, flywheel energy storage system and wind turbine uh, in, um, in these days. Uh, now, um, I was a casual lecturer at um, Thornley TAFE in Perth in 1996, teaching two subjects in engineering, um, teaching two subjects in engineering graphics and engineering drawing details to TAFE students. I also taught AutoCAD 2010 and SolidWorks 2010 to several students as a private tutor through www.tutorfinder.com.au since January 2011 so far. I designed two garages for two of my houses to renovate them and make them enclosed garages and workshops rather uh, being uh, just carports. I supervised the workers to construct the carports and change them to workshops and garages. I got my two owner builders licenses from the councils to do these two projects in 1998 and in 2005. I also designed a large six post gable carport with four meter high reach using AutoCAD 2010 software and supervised my team to construct this large galvanized steel Stratco carport in my home in Liming in 2013. This is my third owner builder license from the city of Melville. The fourth owner builder license I got from City of Melville was in 2005 to construct a 20 meter long, one and a half meter high, five panels, post and panel retaining wall made of concrete. Due to the workers made a mistake in measuring the height of this wall, I applied for the fifth owner builder's license and designed 52 meter long all up set of um, six retaining walls made of limestone blocks. The maximum height of these walls was um, 2.7 meter, which was constructed under my supervision with my design in 2008. I also supervised the construction of a 10 meter long and 5 meter wide steep driveway in my home. City of Melville approved my driveway construction um, I supervised a group of young workers to renovate uh, all pavers in my home and drove my trailer to deliver construction materials from retail sites to my home in 2006. During April 2010, so far, I have been the owner and property manager of City Train Home Boarding House, the same home in Liming which I renovated during 2005 and 2008 is also my boarding house. I have supervised a small teams of workshop for rent tenants to renovate my home in Liming. These term teams were able to do timber flooring for all rooms of the house, painting of the whole house, even exterior of the building, demolishing the pergola and building new pergola made of treated pine and shade cloth installing a large gable carport made of galvanized steel. I also managed to supervise 
these young teens to build custom-made desks and shelves for the boarding house and Roman blinds for three rooms. I have the right to work in Australia and I am Australian citizen. If there is any software in drafting which I don't know, I am quite happy to learn it at work if the opportunity for training be given to me. Now, you have learned about me as a professional engineer and you know in what stage of my life I am. I'm 57 years of age, I have raised three beautiful children and they are 18 to 24. They are studying uh, biotechnology uh, at Curtin. They are studying um, a law in UWA and they are studying um, uh, clinical psychology in uh, Murdoch University. So uh, the fruit of my life has been um, several. Some are um, academic, some are educational, some are engineering services, some are research, some are in the shape of children <laughs> and renovation of my home. So if you find uh, anything useful in me that I can be helpful at this age for your company or for your organization, I'm quite happy to help you in my free time. Thank you for listening to my video.